to the atheist. Here we go. Still doing here. <laughs> what happened to my phone call and our conversation? I've been so busy working, man. Uh, please forgive me. All right, all right. You got time this week? Sure, oh, sure, yeah, cool, cool, sure. Cool. Yeah. Do you watch that, please, Trouble? What's that? Do you watch that, please, Trouble? Least Trouble. Yeah, see, the thing with Least Trouble is that everyone's bored. Everyone starts off an atheist, so it's like. So someone was an atheist, so it's like there's no, there's no big deal. Everyone starts off that way. Even right. you did. Okay. Mm. Do you ever read anything that's opposing to your view? Like anything by Sam Harris or Richard Dawkins or anything? You should you should look up Sam Harris or Richard Dawkins. Oh. Ah. Like you. you should have something for wrist too, just in case you hit the ground. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a little thing right there. Remember, do you have that like there? So if you hit the ground, it'll, it'll, it'll keep your wrist. So yeah, Sam Harris, Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens. Those are all good authors. You know, if 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 your aim is to get uh, intellectual discourse and, and information it is, but I have a feeling that your dad doesn't want you to learn anything other than what he tells you. Am I right, Dad? I know, but I No, he's, uh, he's able to search. He's a young man, and he's searching for himself. Well, then how, then how could that lady... This is my friend Derek. He's a, this is a practicing atheist named Ted, right? Did you say practicing atheist? Yeah, practicing atheist. <laughs> What's... Okay. How you doing? Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey, you got new headphones. Like yeah, yeah, the other ones were flaking off on my neck, and, and these are much better, and they've got noise canceling, so I like them a lot. What's up to today, Ted? What's that? Heading down to the game? Uh, oh, there's a Gator game today? Here? Oh, I don't know. What time is it start? Seven. Seven? Oh, okay. Now, the big game's tomorrow with the Buccaneers. Oh, Tom, Tom Brady. That's, I'll be watching that. So, uh, hey, have you thought about anything that we talked about? No. Uh, the vacuum thing, did you did you figure out you were wrong about that or what? Well, uh, let, let's ask Derek. Okay. What's, what's in a vacuum? What's that? What's in a vacuum? What's in a vacuum? Yeah. yeah, he tried to tell me there's nothing in a vacuum. and, and, and That's what I learned at, at Shiloh's age in fifth grade. My science teacher told me there's, there's Wait, nothing. Wait, a, a fifth grade teacher told your kid there's nothing in a vacuum? Yeah. Wow. Because yeah, that's true. Suck, well, it wouldn't be suck, true. They sucked I mean, all the elements out, so there's nothing in there. You would think so, but there's there's virtual particles. There's, uh, you know... Uh, uh, virtual particles? Yeah, virtual particles. There's, uh, what else is there? Hydrogen atoms, Vir I think. I think, it's I, think it's, I think there's hydrogen atoms as well. Virtual oh, to me. and thermal... It sounds like imaginary. Yeah, well, you know, you have to look into it and see what it means. You can't just think something... Because yeah, you're feeling you the Google facts. What's in a vacuum? The facts. Nothing. The facts don't care about your feelings. So you might so feel a certain way. Of, that's kind of the reason I haven't looked at anything that you said because it's no. like talking to a brick wall. You're not going to change. It's not about me changing. It's about what information do you have to go by when you make an just, assertion. Just truth and science. Well, truth is a degree to which a statement corresponds with reality. So, so when there's you no, there's an absolute truth. There's no such thing. When when you so, right there's the line. We can't no, even, right, we can't right. Well, you stick, well, you got to stick to science. You know, when you make a statement like nothing exists in in a, in a vacuum, you're making a, 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 a just, scientific. You know, you're making it's an straight, a it's straight up science, bro. You're making up a scientific assertion, but then you you're trying, but you have nothing to, to. When you when we go and we look at there are particles inside of a vacuum, then you know that just tells me that you didn't do your homework. And you don't know what's left in the vacuum, even though. I mean, we can I'd call it a it, vacuum. I'd flip it right around you and say, you didn't do your, own, didn't do your homework and you don't realize that there's nothing in the vacuum. Why don't you all have a meeting or something? Well, <laughs> well there, there are particles I'm in the vacuum. I'm so. just doing a lot of stuff. I just didn't have, have that time to connect with them. 
the other other thing is, is I'm waiting to see if there, there's an opening. It's like talking to a brick wall. And it's opening. They're, they're, they'd be wasting my time to waste this time too. I don't want to waste this time. I don't want. I don't have a lot of time to waste. So. Well, here's the deal. One of us is right and one of us is wrong, right? We're not both. We can't both be right. We can't both be wrong. So you know, either a god exists or it doesn't. So if you feel like you're talking to a brick wall. Are you using science? Are you using logic and reason correctly? Are you using scientific evidence to back up your claims that you're making? Because if you're not, then for you to complain about talking to yeah. a brick wall doesn't really make sense. Because if you yeah. use science and if you knew what you're talking about, then it wouldn't be bringing you talk to a brick wall. I would have to not can be I using answer, science. Can I ask a question? Yes, sir. This is probably not real intellectual, but I've heard it, and I think it bears worth repeating. If you find a watch... Oh, gosh. Yeah, How do you yeah. assume that there was not a watchmaker with design and creativity? Why would anyone assume there's not a watchmaker? Well, you have it. And that's, you have what that's what I'm saying. Right. We, we know, we know um, mankind makes that. Nature doesn't make that. So obviously we knew there was a maker. Well, it's something a hundred million times more complex than that is our universe. Just because something's complex doesn't mean that it had an intelligence behind it. So we're, we're well, if, if we go your route and we say that everything was uh, uh, designed, how can you even say that without having knowing something that wasn't designed? Because in order to know if something's designed or not, we'd have to go by nature. You know, nature, non-designed, gives us uh, knowledge of what is designed. So, so by you saying that everything was designed, well then, well then, how can you even show that? How can you even show that? What about comparing the Earth to the whole rest of the universe and the fact that we've not found anything that is closely resembled? Just because we're ignorant of all other planets. In fact, we actually know a lot of planets out there actually that are, that are quite uh, similar to Earth through our uh, satellites that we have up there. Uh, but just because we don't know everything doesn't mean that, uh, therefore, we should make conclusions based on lack of information. That's just arguing from ignorance. Yes. What's that? Oh. Oh, there. I thought you were I, waving well, I can, throw, can I throw in my... Sure. I'm Tom, by the way. My, my thoughts. Sure. Well, as a, someone that my job is all around science, I, don't, I can't build my entire life on science. It's because, to me, science is always based on hypotheses that you're always trying to prove or disprove. And so I feel like... We never, we never can get to absolute truth through science. Okay, alone. well, you're assuming there is absolute truth. See, Correct. Science, yeah. science uses evidence. Okay, uses yeah. reason and logic and, and evidence, and then we have theories, which are conclusions based on the facts that we have. Right. So, you know, right. there's, there's, it works. There's nothing else that we have right. that works. So, well, I feel your like problem is you're you're thinking there's such thing as absolute. Well, I don't knowledge. know if that's a problem. I think that's a, a state of. Humility, recognizing no, I no, no, no. You, you actually think there's some sort of absolute yeah, truth, yeah. and there's no reason to think that. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. So, to, if you ask me honestly, yeah, that's fine. Why yeah, don't I was we agree to disagree own, and get on with our Yeah, I was just throwing my as a scientist. No, like as a scientist, I just can't base my you're whole. Saying, you're telling me you're a scientist. I'm a doctor. A doctor. Yeah. So, of, of what? Human science. Of what? Uh, Okay, so, so not, like human so, body. so not like biology. So you, you would, well, I took that. You wouldn't understand yeah. anything that like Richard Dawkins wrote. Which, I, I could understand these theories. Okay. Okay. You know, theories are conclusions based on facts, right? You're not about okay, I'm not here to argue. Okay. I'm just saying that's why I can't build my whole life on strictly science. I know. What, I don't actually know what it means to say you build your life on science. I mean, science means to know. Science, the word, represents our knowledge. So there's no other way to know about how the world works than using science. So, right, but I don't think we know everything the way no. science has told us. So where science doesn't match God, it means we haven't if, reached that yet. If, if you question something a scientist says, you can look at his work to see how he came to that conclusion. But then when you start talking about a God, well then I don't know well, what that's you're talking about. Yeah, I don't even know what a God is, and I doubt you can even tell me. So well, that's where we split. So because I believe I do believe there's absolutely the truth. Well, outside of humans, outside of humans. Well, you, if you, you can't show that, so it makes me think that you definitely don't know that. So if you I'm don't okay. know that... I'm okay then, with you thinking that about me. Well, it's true that you don't know that, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm okay with you thinking that about me. Do you have any way to show that you know that? Show what exactly? Well, you think that there's some sort of absolute knowledge or absolute truth. What does that even mean? And I, how do you even know it's, it's real? I'm, that's what I'm seeking that's what you're seeking. Why do you? What made you think it is something to seek? What, what made you think that it's actually something that you that, that is real? 
What makes you, what, what led you in the direction to think that's actually something worth giving serious consideration to? That's the grace of God. Okay. Well, then, then, I'm, then I'm back to asking you what a God is and how you oh, know yeah, a God yeah. exists. That's where we can disagree to disagree on that. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. But, bless you, but, but, bless you. But you see, you're not, you're not, you don't care about the truth. You might, you, you guys might use the word truth, but you don't really care about it. Because truth is the degree to a statement corresponds with reality. How do you know something corresponds to reality? You have scientific evidence, you have logic and reason to show it does. But if all you throw at it is God and Bible, you're just using the word truth because people like to use the word truth. It sounds good. That's why religion uses that word, because it satisfies part of mankind wants to know the truth. So you use the word, but you don't really pursue the truth. Stuck on stuck on what? Fifth grade science. Fifth grade science. Yeah, the, the theory. Just of, look of a up. Vacuum. Just just look up. Just no, look up a vacuum. No, 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 I'm sorry. There's hydrogen particles. There's hydrogen particles. There's hydrogen. In the there's thermal. So there's sorry. thermal radiation. You are so wrong. You can look it up. Okay, I, I'm telling you what exists inside of the okay. vacuums. If I have time you can to tell me I'm wrong, I'll, I'll turn it but out you're not you really know, doing your homework. Nothing in the okay, I, just you want to go ahead and print it out and, and make there's sure you have a viable source for it. I didn't say there was oxygen, sir. I didn't say there were those things. But there are things. But there. Hey, man, stop trying to ruin our party. Stop trying to ruin our party, buddy. It's a party. It's a party. Anytime you can learn something, that's a party. When you humble yourself, come back and say, "Man, I was wrong about the vacuum." Why? You guys, you and I can talk about that. But I've done my homework. I know there's particles in the vacuum. You're not going to get anywhere by running away from no, science. I, I gave you the challenge, buddy. You can step up to the the challenge? Not, I'm the one that's telling you you don't know enough about a vacuum. Well, Google, you have Google on your phone, sir. You can look it up. Exactly. Google's not always right. Nope, but it sure does have the answers. And when you live your life with your father telling you that there's a God and stuff like that and there's not one, you're being fed bad information that Google could correct for you. Well, when there is heaven, you don't have to say that about me. <laughs> this, I, I just, I just want to say that. Are you seriously gonna fight with the little girl? That, seriously? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I, I'm sure you have good kids, sir, but. Uh, it's this is kind of a form of child child abuse. If you ask me. I didn't ask you. Well You're good. telling them something exists and you don't know what does is we know otherwise. Well I know Peter Pan doesn't exist, so why should I believe in a god? Because it's real. Because uh, Because why? Why don't you believe in Tinkerbell then if you think God is real? <laughs> Alright guys, been fun. Have fun with your delusion. There's lots of children in foster homes and shelters that need homes. We don't need to make more babies. We have plenty of kids in shelters and, and foster homes and state group, and group homes that need a place to live. But you guys care more about, about babies being born than than children that are already alive that need more help. So you would rather dismember them in the womb rather than them suffer in foster care? Well, they're potential. They're potential. They're not actual lives. How could they're they potential. be potential? Because they have not been born yet, which is why we made that line at birth. Because there's no other way to make that line. Who made the line? We did. Mankind did. It's in our laws. Mankind made that. Oh, so yes. in the laws? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to go by what the law says? That, that's pretty much unless you want to go to you know, jail. Well, I mean, slavery said that black people were three-fifths three of a person. I mean, that was law. So is that correct? Well, actually, it's in the Bible, too. The Bible supports slavery. The 
the Bible doesn't support this transatlantic slave trade. No, the Bible you supports could... slavery explicitly. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so look, look up Exodus 21. It's all. I've there. read the whole Bible. Okay, so well then you know should know what I'm talking about. What's that? I just let them just tell everybody I'd like y'all to play out here with us. Please keep coming from me and talk to this Okay. Please Why are you cock blocking me, bro? Why are you cock blocking me, bro? Because you can. <laughs> Pray with us. Absolutely. Praying. Because praying does stuff, right? Because praying does stuff, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Sure it does. And God loves you. Which God? The Lord Jesus Christ. He gave his life for you. But then he came back three days later. So did he really sacrifice anything? Yeah. He sacri- but yeah. he came back three he days later. He paid your penalty. He paid the penalty for your so sin. So he created the sickness and then killed himself to relieve us of the sickness he created. No, we created the sickness. We created no, it no God sickness. did it. Not us. We didn't do it. Right? No, that was us. We didn't know We didn't know what would happen when we when, when, when Eve took a bite of the apple. She had no idea what was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, God told her she would surely die. Yeah, but she didn't know any better. She didn't know good, uh, right from wrong until she took a bite, correct? No. It was all set up by God. It's in your Bible. It's in your Bible. I'm sorry, but Lance. Okay. Uh, how would that be doing any more than feeding her brain with useful information? Other than your delusional God stuff. Because she's smart enough. Is she really smart enough? Yes, she is. Because she thinks that she has imaginary friends and she calls them God. So how smart is that? Is he's, that smart? He's smart? And you're going to meet him on Judgment Day. Why, why should Everybody's I believe? Everybody's going to die. Why should I believe I'm going to meet your God? Why should I think your God exists? Um, you don't have to. He's going to judge you. Because why? Why should I believe any God exists? What is a God anyways? Would you look up, would you get home No, no, I want you to tell place. me what a God is and why I should It's called The Case for Christ. And it was oh, about please. an atheist. Okay. Who, his wife Everyone is born an atheist. His wife converted... And he didn't like that. He didn't appreciate it very much. He was changing, and he didn't like it. So he mm. went out to disprove Christianity. And mm-hmm. when he was doing that, yeah. he found all the proofs for it. Okay. So it's something that you could check out. But yet you can't give any of those, can you? Well, right now, I'm trying to stand oh, for Oh, yeah, it's too difficult for you. No, I don't think you're it's here to t- You're here to tell me what a God is. You can't tell me what it is or how you know what I'm it is. I'm telling you who the God is. He's the Lord what? Jesus Christ. How, what does that mean? He calls you to repent. What is a God, though? And call upon his name to be saved. And what? I hope that you do that. But what is it, though? But what is it? What is a God? Why should I care what a God is? Why should I care what you're telling me about? Him? Why should I think I live after I die? Isn't that a contradiction? Why should I think that? No. It's not a contradiction. How can you live after you die? If you keep living, then you never die. Isn't that correct? Energy is neither created nor destroyed. Where does it go? Where okay, it but that's energy. That's not our consciousness. What makes you think that our consciousness somehow still exists in energy without a body in the brain? What do you have to go on to think that? You have to go on to think that it doesn't. Okay, well, then that's just your argument for ignorance right there. So you just don't know what you're talking about, do you? I figured. It's okay. You're all the same. You never know what you're talking about. That's why I ask the hard questions, and you sit here and you give me lame responses because you have no idea how to give a proper response. It's don't feel bad because you're all the same. I don't feel bad. Well, I would feel shame. I would would be ashamed. I would be ashamed if I sat here talking to people about Tinkerbell, and then they're asking me to tell me what. Tinkerbell, how it flies around and how it uses the magic, and I couldn't give a response, yet I, I terribly, firmly believe in Tinkerbell, I would think eventually I would feel ashamed or bad that I believe in something that I have absolutely no evidence. But you seem to not care. You, you don't care that no, you have the magic. Evidence. There is evidence. Sure, what is that? I'm telling you where to go to find it. because what? A book. No, actually, I'm talking about something on YouTube. Okay. You oh, YouTube up. can give you evidence. Yeah, but I mean, it's also a book. You don't recall what the evidence was. You don't recall what the evidence was. You don't recall what the I do recall what the evidence was, but okay. I don't really think you're is, open to. Oh, you think it's right because now. I'm not open? Okay, what a way! I mean, what a way to slime around, having to give a response. That's really good. That's really, you think that works? I don't think that it works. No, well, it, it failed right here. I know. It failed right here. I, know. I mean, if you had a but response, God loves you. you would he give made it. you in His image, and He hasn't given up on you. Why should I think that? And I appreciate that you're asking. Why should I believe that? Why should anyone believe that? Exactly. There's no reason to believe it. So aren't you in your own little bubble? Do you exist in a bubble where you, you just, you're unaware of how the world works, except in your bubble? You only believe what your people tell you to believe? Wait, um, actually, is how, there even a... What's like, that like? Like, I couldn't imagine that. Because one thing I did in my life is I went through all the beliefs I have, and I purged all the ones I couldn't justify. You know, And I don't think any beliefs should be sacred. Okay? I think we should purge them. And the thing, and this God thing is just another, another 
belief that we have that needs to be purged because there's nothing to show that it's true. It's just a delusional belief that you're what probably brainwashed. What do you have through. when you die? What makes you think I'm going to go, I'm going to exist after I die? What makes you think anyone's going to exist Ted, after they die? is hell a thing? Hell is just a made-up thing. It's like heaven and God. It's just okay. fictional. Okay. We'll see. Well, tell me, how, why, why should I think we that I live after that? We will both face that. We'll, that's the one thing. Ten out of ten okay. people die. Okay, so what we'll makes both, you think we'll, we'll see? That. If we don't live after we die, how can we ever see? How can, we, how can you saying we'll see mean anything? Well, if you're right, then you're right, right? But if you're wrong, then right? you've made a terrible error. Okay, what if a God exists that sends you to hell for not using your logic and reason that it gave you? There is logic and reason. Right, right, right. And you're not using it. You have the ability to use it. But what if a God exists that sends you to hell for not using the, the logic and reason that it apparently gave you? What if your God doesn't exist, but that one does, sends you to hell for believing in the wrong uh, God and sends me to heaven? What if that God exists? Then there you go. Then you'll be right. So then and you can gloat in heaven. So you, well, no, a moment ago, you only give two options. Either uh, you think that either you win or, or, or you, you're, you're equal to me. But now you realize another option. Oh, I know that we're equal. Absolutely. No, no, you're not. You're not listening. There's a third Jesus option. Died for you as a different There's a third I option. There's a third option that, that a different God exists. Rewards me and punishes you. And okay, I just well, there you one. go. So then we'll know. There you go. At the end of your life, if that's that how we'll know. So then you will regret not using reason and logic appropriately. I am going to stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. He's my Savior. But you're deluded so to think that that's, that's all I had that stand for, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's pretty and sad. And I hope that you come that's to pretty... him. And I think that well, you show me that know. this thing exists first. I have to know it exists first. I can't just go by a storybook and you saying so. Okay, then I would say read the Bible with an open mind. I have read the Bible. It's, it condones it slavery. It's a, it's a crappy book. It's a really crappy book. But you have to read it with an open mind, and you have to no, pray. The no, no. Bible's real. The Bible is has the assertions of a God. It has assertions. You have to have evidence of the God. You can't refer to the same book to justify itself. If it says that God is real, what outside the Bible shows that it's real? You can't use the same book to justify itself. People. People. But that doesn't seem to compute to you. You like have this glossy look over your eyes. Like you have no idea. Like I'm speaking Greek or something. But this is logic and reason in words. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Okay. But I'll be so. praying for you. Your name is Ted? Yes, yes. I'll pray for you. Okay, I will think for you because bye. praying doesn't do anything. Bye, 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 All right. Here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. On my way to get some food, and I run into some uh, the same people again. Well, now there's more of them, but the same people again for the most part. And uh, the guy is still telling me that uh, I'm wrong about a vacuum, and. Uh, the problem is me, not him. Oh, the problem's not him. No, sir, right? Whatever. See how they all came to her defense? Let's go walk over to her. Um, anyways, guys, uh, class has started up again, but I work pretty much, you know, full time. So, during the day, when I think there's preachers on campus, I'm, I'm working. So, uh, I don't, can't really get too much stuff for you guys. Uh, I think they're still oblivious to the fact that I have this 360 camera in my hand. Uh, I have not told them about my channel, because if I did that, then they'll put two or two together, because although they're kind of stupid, they might not be that stupid. So uh, I have not told them, like, who I am, what I do, not that who I am is all that important. But I like to do what I do. Um, so peace, guys. Uh, I guess I'll stop this and go to IHOP. Get some, get some food. All right. Where all the ladies, ladies are. All right, guys. Peace.